All right, so as you can see, the Anvil rocket launcher is now available. It says armed and ready. Lock on the vehicles and take them down from a safe distance. So this can be found pretty much anywhere, including even in sharks. So I'm going to do a full gameplay and review on this. We're going to test it out versus people, versus vehicles, versus whatever, and see how good or bad it truly is. So I'm going to get my good friend Bilal in here, Ghost Knight. He's going to help me do some testing. We're going to try this out in Battle Lab. I hope it's even found there. If not, we'll go into a custom match. All right, so as you can see here, I have a purple rarity anvil rocket launcher as well as a blue one. It can go all the way up to gold, but I think the blue one is the lowest rarity you can get. The weakest rarity, rather. So the damage on the blue one, at least, is 101. And then on the purple one, it goes up to 106. And you can see the reload time is a little quicker. It goes from 3.6 to 3.42. And this is, well, yeah, let me see what it looks like. So Bilal's got one in his hands right here. This is what it looks like. It's a big old javelin type thing from Call of Duty. In fact, I think it functions just like the javelin, if you've ever played Call of Duty. So this is what it looks like when you aim down sights. If you're near anything that resembles a car, it'll lock on. It's kind of got a heat sinking thing as well. It does take, let's see, how long did that take to lock on? That's a good three seconds to lock on, and then it turns completely red. But it doesn't work on these fake cars over here. It's got to be a real vehicle. I shot it before it locked on. I want to see what it does here. Okay, wow. That's, that still hit it, even though I wasn't even locked on. Okay, so I imagine it did that. Okay, okay, it makes sense. So if Bilal hops in this car and I got it locked on, even if it's moving, it should hit it. Yeah, why, why don't you hop in that? Let's see. Hop in one, and then s I'll tell you when to start driving. Okay, hold on. Let me hit the lock up. Okay, okay wait. Come, come down towards me. Come down towards me. Okay, now, now turn it around and get ready to go the other way, and I'll tell you when to go. Okay, let me lock on. Okay, you're locked. Okay, drive. Just keep on driving. Don't stop. See if it targets him as he's traversing. Is it following you? Did it hit you? <laughs> it, got, it got him. That is awesome. So it definitely homes in. That is way cool. How come it didn't damage you though? Do you you hop? You you were able to get out before it blew. Nice. Okay. Okay, so just hold still a minute, Bilal. So you can see, it obviously won't lock on to people. But if I shoot it right at him... <laughs> he's kidding us. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's going to land right on him. Watch this. <laughs> he's getting... His, he's plowed up. Oh, what? That was... Uh, bees. Okay, so maybe i got to put it a little bit in front of him. Maybe right about... Wait, out of ammo... Okay, there we go. Let's put it right about there. The kick is up. There we go. Oh, that is awesome. So if people are camping, I mean, it'll be incredible. You can just launch one of these right on their little camping spot. That's incredible. And it does a large chunk of damage to vehicles as well. So it does take multiple rockets to destroy at least a normal car. Okay, I'm going to do the wood one first. I'm just going to shoot it right at the base. Hopefully it blows up everything, but let's see. And it does a whirly dirly up there, and then boom! Whoa, that hit the steel. I was aiming at the... Ah, I was aiming at the wood. Okay, let me put it right here. Okay, so yeah, that does some hefty damage. And it also lights up the area where you're going to hit. So there's a big red beacon. That's cool. This weapon is awesome! Okay, I'm going to shoot it right down. Hopefully it goes right into your box. You, you got a wide open roof there? Okay, he does. Here we go. What? What? I don't know. Maybe I was too close, but it... Instead of circling around in the sky, it instantly 
locked onto you. Let me try that again. Okay, yeah, I wasn't far enough away for it to do the whirly. Okay, so it's not that precise. Let me just shoot it straight at it and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, so that's better. If you aim right, this might hit you. I'll probably go right for you there. Oh, man, that is so awesome. And it says I dropped the anvil. That is cool. Okay, let's find a tank. Let's see how much damage it does to tanks. Wow. Wait, I can actually, I can see the tank from here. Here, well, I, I see one. I, I locked on all the way from over here. So this thing has some wicked range. Let's see. <laughs> so that did 600, 630. So it's going to take like three rockets, I think. Oh, wait, wait, how much health does one have? So it's gonna take like four rockets, I think, to destroy it, right? Well, here, here, you shoot me with one, and I'll go in the tank real quick. Let me just hear if it. Oh, okay, okay, I'll stand next to it. Okay. So I think it's gonna take like four rockets to destroy this, but I'm just gonna stand near it as Bilal shoots one at the tank, so I can see what happens. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's definitely a beeping that alerts you. It goes beep, 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 beep. Okay, let me get inside and see if I can hear it better. Okay, so yeah, it definitely takes, at least with the purple one, it takes four rockets to destroy, which is unfortunate, but you can hit it from so far away. Oh yes! There's a, a missile incoming screen. Oh wow. 30 oh, health. Oh, Bilal just got the gold one. Let's go. Okay, so let me compare these two. So this one does 111 damage versus 106 on the purple one and an even quicker reload. That's awesome. All right, let's find another car real quick. Oh, here's a car. So let me just test this again. So the purple one to vehicles does... 630. So we're going to try on the truck. 630 versus 660. Okay. And Bilal said he did, or he did say that a missile was incoming. So that, this is awesome. This is one of the coolest weapons in the game. I'm going to be spamming this at people camping up on the blimp. So me and Bilal are testing right here to see the range. And you can see from here, I cannot lock on. So let me see the distance here. That is... 273 meters, so you can't do that. So let me just, oh wow, I walk so slow with this. We're just gonna have to get down until we can. Okay, wait. So I got a lock right here. So I think it's 250 is the max. Okay, maybe not. About 247, 247 you can still lock on. Well, let me pull back a little bit. If it still goes. Yes. So once you get a lock, it looks like you can go even further back, but... Okay, so it's about 247 meters. That's the maximum distance. So if Bilal hopped in this and drove, I'd still be able to hit him. So that's a fairly decent range. I mean, that... <laughs> as it rolls, gets down. And now, of course, it takes a long time. Look how long that rocket took to get down there. So there's going to be ample opportunity for them to get out of there, but... Pretty sweet. Look at that. Boom. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Oh, there's no fall damage. What? Okay. What? <laughs> okay. So there you go, like I said, one of the coolest additions to the game. I, for one, can't wait to use these against people camping, or vehicles on the run, or whatever else may present itself to the awesome Anvil Rocket Launcher. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, <laughs> which is TaperTime.